see. Mr. Desjardins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for bringing us here today and uh, for your diligence in pursuing this extremely important matter. Uh, I truly regret uh, that this has gotten to this point, but the actions of the Justice Department have left us with no other choice. This is far from political theater. This is a legitimate investigation into an operation, the Fast and the Furious, that was so flawed that it flew right into the face of common sense. There are many people in this room on both sides of the aisle that would agree that one person, any person, within the chain of command in this Federal bureaucracy should have stopped this gun-walking operation that put the lives of law enforcement officials and innocent citizens in harm's way. And certainly, the Attorney General is not above the law. We were originally told that this flawed decision was made by local officials. It didn't take long that we learned that, in fact, there was a significant information known by officials in Washington about the conception and execution of this operation. And with the President's recent uh, executive privilege letter, it uh, appears that it may go into the White House. Uh, this is uh, what Attorney General Holder's team infers is part of the evolving truth. That, that's a troublesome comment. The Obama administration, the Justice Department, cannot continue to stonewall the committee any longer. The American people want answers. Agent Terry's family deserves answers. The gentlelady from New York mentioned earlier that uh, this is all occurring because it's an election year. I don't think uh, Agent Terry's family cares that it's an election year. I don't think the families of uh, over 200 slain Mexican citizens care that this is an election year. It's past time for the Attorney General to produce the documents. I made clear in a recent statement that we have given the Attorney General ample opportunity to come forth and present the facts surrounding fa Fast and Furious, yet the Department has refused to cooperate. Now, I'm a freshman in Congress, and when I came here, I didn't know that if you started, if you dropped a bill and wanted to get it passed, it had to be done during that 112th Congress. So if it's not done by the end of this year, it goes away and you start over. The same holds true for what we're trying to bring to light here. And I don't think that's lost on the Attorney General's office. It, it starts to feel like they're just trying to run out the clock. So, Mr. Chairman, I think that the contempt report before us is thorough and accurate. I urge my colleagues to join me 